there's only one thing that can make this more awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be nuts. What is going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Lone Oak Farm where anything is possible. We have a crazy, crazy, crazy header today. Let's go and get that trailer opened up, ready to go. Make sure it recognizes it. It does. Today is harvest day and it may be the beginning of harvest. It may be the end of harvest. I'm not really sure how today is going to go, but it Oop, a little bit much. There you go. So what we've got, <laughs> this is so stupid. This is awesome. I don't even know how this is going to work, but, but I can guarantee you I am hyped right now. What is going on? <laughs> oh, oh, so this guy, <laughs> what? Uh, sugar cane is going in baby at 50 meters 50 meters only rocking nine miles an hour because <laughs> i don't even understand what's going on but i am super excited and super hyped up. why are you st stop binging at me did nah -uh. no bings uh -oh. uh, did i do something wrong here we go all right we're rocking along we've already got a hundred Oh, well, I don't know what in the world's going on. It just keeps stopping for some reason. This is what you get whenever you get mods like this. It, uh, yeah, weird stuff happens all the time. This is crazy awesome right now. I'm real excited about this. We've got a couple different ways that we could do this. This is, yeah, it's actually slowing down quite a bit. I'm not really sure what in the world's going on. Oh, Probably because it physically can't get it all together at the same time, so it's slowing it down. Nonetheless, this thing is just... Oh, it's binging at me because I've got that mod installed where it bings whenever it gets to 80%. And then it stops whenever it gets to 100%. Ah, I know why it's binging now. That all makes sense. And that is real annoying. I'm going to go turn that off right now all right i've got an idea i'm gonna give something a try so this uh, harvester right here the the black one the way that one's supposed to work is it kind of comes through get your sugar cane and all's well and good well the issue that we're having oh nope don't want that there let's drop that back up just far enough and we'll drop that so the issue that i'm having is that it's got kind of a a max amount that it can hold one of the really cool things about these guys right here is there is no maximum amount that they can hold it just gets to a point oh slow it down baby slow it down it just gets to a point where it's a little bit well much oh man don't tell me i've got to get another <laughs> we got to get another dolly darn it there we go i think we're good so, again, the reason that the other one wasn't working crazy well was because... Oh, that's not going to be good at all. <laughs> oh, is it going down like an angle every time? It is, isn't it? Let's bring this in and let's see how bad it truly is. If we bring it down... Yep, it's at an angle. Does it only do a little bit of time? It only does a little bit at a time. Man, so we those basically work together in tandem. Yeah, so this could work, but he's a little janky. You know what? I can deal with janky. Janky's going to be just fine for what we need to do. Uh, but the great thing is with this, so yes, we're going to be getting a lot all at once, However, it's all stored inside the forge harvester. So one great thing is these forge harvesters, they basically have an unlimited supply, like an unlimited amount that they could store inside the harvester at one time. Where the other one, well, we ran into a problem with that one where it wouldn't hold anymore. And that was a big problem for us. This one will sit there and hold 
just about as much as you want it to hold, which is really, really nice. But unfortunately, we're going to have to do pretty much all this ourselves at 9 miles an hour at 50 meters wide. Can you give me a 50 meter down in the comment section below? Yes. This thing is really, really cool. I'll do my best to leave a link to the description or uh, in the description to this mod. If I forget, somebody call me out in the comment section. I'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put that in there. Janky, yes, working. Also, yes, this is pretty cool. We're already up to 350,000 liters of sugarcane already. You guys know what I love to do crazy stuff? And this is just adding to the list right here. I wonder how bad this is going to be if I try to hire a worker. Let's find out. Well, the worker's doing it. He's doing just fine. But it's not always, can the worker go straight? It's, can the worker turn around? And because the worker doesn't actually know how wide this thing is, we're probably not going to have that work too well for us. Nonetheless, work could just find we're well over half a million liters in there by now. Lord knows how much is actually in the combine itself or the, the harvester itself, because we don't know. We have no idea. This one right here, we actually know. It gave us a number down there, but you know what? We're not even going to worry about it. Now, also, this is the game mods right here. Really, really cool. I mean... It's just some some real neat stuff going on with this. I've got, I think I've got a Baylor by Game Mods as well. Uh, again, really neat stuff. I got everything from Farming Simulator 19 Mods.com. Oh, yeah. Link in the description below to that website. Uh, every once in a while, you get a little pop up every now and then, but it's not too bad. I like that site. It works great for me. That's where I get pretty much every single mod that you guys see that's not a game uh, or a Mod Hub mod here, unless I get it from Clutch Simulations. That's probably where it's coming from. So, as of right now, well over 600,000 liters. I have no doubt in my mind that we'll be over 1 million liters of sugarcane on here. The question is, where can we sell and what's our prices like? Well, prices are pretty good and we could sell at four different places, including the new Edge Green Vault that we've got. So that is good too. And, I'm noticing... Oh, yeah! <laughs> So the combine uh, has got all that sugar cane in it, and it is quite heavy. You can see the numbers are still going up at the back, and it is dumping it still, even though we're not harvesting anything. That right there is because... God, this thing's heavy. Uh, there we go. We're taking off now. Uh, that's because of the way everything's going. Let's go ahead and hire another worker here. I think it's going to get this first row. Yeah, we did miss a little bit. Let's go and back this up. Just like that. Fire the worker. Hire the worker. Bring it down. And we'll get this little bit ourselves right here. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> I've tried to go up there with it, and it just ain't happening. There we go. We've got a little bit of grip now. I've got a bunch of horsepower in this thing, too. we got like 5,000 horsepower in this uh, harvester. There we go. Hire a worker. Get that line nice and straight. So what have we done so far? You can see we've done all this. I don't even know if this is going to regrow since I didn't plant it with a billet planter. I guess we'll find out. I'm just going to leave it be and see what happens. But that's from one pass, 50 meters wide. It's just, <laughs> it's just crazy. And there we are, 700,000 liters of sugar cane. This is so cool. I'll tell you what. Let's do what we can to kind of finish up. And then we may have to sit the com or the combine. Keep calling it combine. Uh, sit the harvester down because it is going to be sitting there. Also, you can see how much weight is in the back right now. Goodness, this thing is full. We currently have one more pass to make, and then we're going to be all done. And then this is probably going to be sitting here for oh gosh, I would say ten minutes, twenty minutes, something like that. Just unloading. You can see. It takes us a hot minute to get moving. The back of this thing is down. It is down, down, down. I wonder how many... <laughs> there's hundreds of thousands of liters in here that's just hanging out. The thing is, it moves just fine until you get right up on it, just like this. And then it slows way down, which is not the way it was behaving and acting to start with. So I find that quite interesting. Nonetheless, it's all good. <laughs> see first person. Let's see exactly what's going on in here. So it looks like that side's done now. It's all down to the right side, even though we've still got animations everywhere. This thing is pretty all right, man. Two miles an hour, to be fair. 
but we're still going. We're still moving. Currently 1.4 million liters. Oh gosh, one mile an hour. Come on, baby. Let's move. Go. <laughs> Tempted to realign it, hire a worker and come behind it, push it. I think a 7R would push this. What do you think? Actually, if this with 5,000 horsepower doesn't move, I doubt a 7R with seven or 200 sub horsepowers gonna do much for us either there. Eh, maybe. Two miles an hour, one mile an hour. We're still moving forward. Moving forward is good with me. Come on, come on. This is like hump day hill climb way, way back when. If you guys were, were with the channel, but even before we hit 1,000 subscribers, Every Wednesday, what I would do is I would pit different tractors against each other on a hill climb that I had put together on a snow map. And we had, of course, everything turned on. All assists were off and all that. All right. Can we hit it the rest of this? Yes. Done. We are finished. Let's get this folded up. There's that. Perfect. We don't need this header anymore. Oh, man. The back of this thing is heavy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and return that. Oh. Oh, well, I guess we're done. <laughs> okay. So, 1.4 million liters in here. Do we have some decent pricing going on right now? Let's see. 209 and the price is going down. That's at Hollister Stores. And I got to be honest with you, I think that's a decent price. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell that or get rid of that, get rid of that. What I need is some type of semi-truck. This will do just fine. Let's go ahead and grab it. Let's take it down to Hollister Stores. Let's sell that for $209 per thousand liters. Yeah. The 1.4 million that we already have in there. You know, I was just thinking all the way over here. I'm not even sure I've seen this trailer ever more than 0% full. Here we go. Let's get it unloaded. These rear doors are going to open. This should sell fairly quickly. We've got $1.62 million starting off. There is a hundred grand right there. Let's see. Actually, we may not get too much for this. There's $200,000. You know, we may not get. Let's see, there's $300,000. So we didn't make a whole lot off of that field. We probably could have made about the same if we would have done some different crops in there. Huh. Okay, that is interesting. So, so about 300 and some thousand dollars off of all that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this trailer now that we've got it. There we go. Goodbye, Benelu Optiliner. That is the uh, the old version, actually, before they updated it. That's still the version 1.000. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Version 1. You know what I'm talking about. So that is done. It's time to head back over. Let's go ahead and make our way here. And let's get ready for the rest of the harvest. So as you know, we've got three John Deere's. They all, I believe all three of the S790's that we've got hold 1 million liters, if I remember correctly. And we've got a couple different fields to put them on. We actually have three different fields that we can put them on. We have a canola field, a wheat field, and a barley field. So what I'm going to do... I said canola, uh, <laughs> soybeans. Every darn time, man, every darn time. Let's get this lined up. What I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and hit some headlands around on the biggest field, which is our wheat field. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to come around and we're going to do the exact same thing here on the soybeans. And then lastly, we are going to take care of the barley field by ourselves. Wheat field is first. We're going to double check our settings, making sure everything is good. We do want that straw on there. Again, I don't really need it. We've got plenty of straw, but man, isn't it fun to just have millions of liters of straw? I love it. So we're good there. Good, good. Disable straw swath. So that is a good sign as well. Let's put it right here. Um, The worker. There we go. Okay, well, looks like we're going to be picking that up. But... Worker's doing just fine now, so that's good. So this is going to be, let's see, we've got this at 24. Let's move that up to 26. What's going to happen is three headlands at the top. We're going to hit one headland down, two at the bottom, and then we're going to head back up. As a matter of fact, we may only do one headland at the bottom. Regardless, we will, actually, do we need to run? Ah, you know what? I feel like we could run two and be just fine down here. 
but alas, we shall figure it out nonetheless. Um, also, planning on doing like a five or six day mini series over the next week. I believe that's going to start tomorrow. If you guys are watching right now, I believe that's going to start tomorrow. Um, I wanted to try something new. I say try something new. Um, kind of pick up where I left off at one point, but have a little bit of fun as well. So I haven't been watching as much Welker Farms as I want to lately. Just been extremely busy, slam packed with work, 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 nonstop. But I wanted to jump on and play the map a little bit. It's big map, big fields, squared off fields. But I want to see, can we get in there and make a little bit of money? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we can. Maybe we won't be able to. Uh, over five days, I'm not sure if we could. But nonetheless, we may do, uh, may do it in season so we can do everything the right way. Who knows? But that's the game plan as of right now. Step one, get the wheat rocking. And I would say that the wheat is a rocking. Let's make sure that this worker turns and does a good job. I only did two headlands at the top. So hoping, hoping, hoping that he's not a complete moron. Looks like he's going to do just fine. All right, so there's our wheat. And we'll have some barley as well, be able to feed our chickens. Finally, <laughs> I fed them in a while. I've been using big bags, and that's no good for money. Now this right here, since this is soybeans, we don't have to worry too much about anything coming out the back. No straw, nothing like that. Can't control it anyway. Goodness gracious, that is one heck of a swamp in the back, isn't it? Man, oh man. Oh yeah, and I totally forgot that they rechanged that up whenever uh, when we got the last uh, was it the last update 1.4 actually, whenever they made the back of this. We'll say, man, oh man, we are dropping some frames like nobody's business. There we go. All right, picking some back up, picking up a couple little extra frames. So let's get this done again. A couple headlands, we'll run through, jump the headlands, and let the worker kind of take over from there. This is not good right here. So two headlands here along the bottom, and then we'll just set the worker on the top. The worker will be just fine. And then we'll grab our third combine, and we will take care of that barley in our field in the woods all by ourselves. Soybeans are rocking. Worker's doing a really fine job. Worker's also doing a very good job over here on our wheat field as well. Be getting some good money for that. We're going to keep a lot of the barley just for the chickens so that we've got plenty there. However, we will be selling the wheat. We will be selling the soybeans. All that is going to be done. As a matter of fact, do we have anything else in the silo? I'm pretty sure it's empty right now, other than some smaller stuff. So it looks like we've got 600,000 liters of hay. We also have 431,000 liters of straw. And we've got about almost 200,000 liters of manure. But we've got a bunch of manure, we've got a bunch of digestate, and we've got a bunch of slurry as well, all of which needs to be sold. Now, we're going to be doing a massive sell day tomorrow enable straw swath there we go so make sure that you guys stay tuned for that we're doing a massive sell of everything all the crops that we've got everything like that i forgot we were going so fast goodness gracious me i'm slow this down just a little bit it's a little too fast for this field right here swing that by but all is good everything is rocking and rolling we're getting the stuff out of the ground uh, we're also going to have to do a big sell of the straw as well the way i'm going to do the straw is we're going to collect it all kind of like normal with that real big, uh, that rapid windrow that we've got. We're going to use that, but then we are going to give whatever the cows need and whatever the pigs need. We're going to give them all that right away, and then we're going to sell the rest. We may bail it up. We may do the uh, that crazy bell thing like we normally do, or because uh, <laughs> I love doing that. It's just so much fun. We may either do that or we may just sell the straw straight away. Just depends on what I'm feeling and how I am, uh, well, how I'm doing that day. But that's going to be tomorrow, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But with all that being said, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHam fam, and make sure you turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a video here on the channel. Again, we've got one more episode here on Lone Oak at least for the next week. We'll probably be doing plenty more on Lone Oak because I absolutely love this map. And there just aren't a ton of maps out there that have wowed me in Farming Simulator 19. Maybe you guys are different. Maybe say like, ah, DJ, there, oh, there's this map, there's this map, there's this one. But tell you what, I still think that here on Lone Oak, this is one of the best maps that we've got so far. But hey, maybe that's just me. Let me know what your favorite map is down in the comment section below. 
But with all that being said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace!